Hey folks, welcome back. So this week, we are back to doing some work on the old farm truck, and we're gonna see if we can't get the rusty crack section of the frame fixed. Alrighty, so I've spared you having to watch me take the bed off for the however many of time it is now that it's happened with uh, working on the truck here. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first thing that I need to do is First of all, get all of the fuel lines and get our uh, parking brake cable, get all this stuff out of the way so I've got plenty of room to work here and we aren't gonna be burning through a fuel line or something like that. And then once that's done, we'll pull this piece of angle iron off of the bottom of the frame. And this is where kind of the flange got real thin from rust and then it started cracking up through here. Then we'll put, I think we'll try getting a jack on both sides here and lifting it up because the crack is kind of wider at the bottom and it, it gets uh, it tapers as it gets up to the top because the weight of the truck is pushing down so it, it's spreading out. We'll try getting that brought together and then the first step will be to run a weld all the way down this crack to kind of help hold that together. Okay, so we got a weld going down over top of where our crack is here. So the next thing we're gonna do, and some of you are not gonna like this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the bottom part of this frame because the bottom's rusted out. You can see all these holes that are popping through here and there's just not a whole lot left. So my concern is that this is gonna start another crack somewhere over in here, it's gonna start going up through there. So we're gonna cut that out. And then I've got this thing cut and ready to go. We'll pop that in there and then weld that in place of where that part currently is. And then uh, hopefully that'll strengthen the frame up. Now, you'll notice I've got angled cuts on our, all of here and this might be overkill, but my understanding is that when you're working on a frame like this, you really don't want any vertical welds if it can be helped. Um, because, well, like you saw here, the crack tends to just go straight up. So if you can get some angled welds in there, it should theoretically hold a little bit better. So this is the part of the show where I go and find some Band-Aids <clears throat> because I wasn't wearing the nice heavy duty pair of gloves that is sitting right, right, right over there on the truck frame. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, we're jumping ahead just a little bit here. And as you can see, we've got the frame cut out and we've got our piece of angle kind of loosely fitted in there. Got a little bit bigger gap than I was hoping for, but I think it'll be all right. Uh, we'll just kind of fill that in as we weld along through there and get that hooked in place. Now, some of you may have noticed that partway through, I switched from my stick welder over to the wire feed welder. Now, there's a couple reasons for this. One of which is because I had a little bit of a gap between the piece of angle iron that I was welding on and the truck frame, I was having some issues with keeping the arc going using the stick welder. And so it was kind of 
sputtering along as I was trying to weld across there and get a halfway decent weld uh, connecting those pieces of metal together. I've done a fair bit more with the wire feed. It's just in general an easier welder to use. And so while it may not be quite as good to use it for this project as the stick welder would be, because I know that I can run it better, I think overall the welds probably came out better using the wire feed than continuing on with the stick welder. And my guess is that for as hard as I run the truck, which really isn't all that hard, at most I fill it up with some mulch from time to time to move around. I think those welds are probably gonna hold up for just as long as anything else on here is. Alrighty, so we got our welds ground down a little bit. So that way this is fairly smooth across here. So now we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna put that on top of here like that and weld all along the edges, weld inside there. And what this does is it'll kind of bridge uh, where our crack was, which is about in here. So that'll kind of weld on either side to help hold that together and hopefully keep that from splitting back apart at any time. Alrighty, so today we are gonna torture test the welds that I put on the truck frame yesterday night. And we're up here right by the road and we got a big pile of wood chips behind us. And we're gonna load a bunch of these up. We got the skid steer up here as well, fill the truck up and it's probably gonna take at least half a dozen trips or so. And we're gonna take these down to the garden area down near the mill house there and use those as sort of a ground cover to help keep weeds from coming up around some of the, uh, the Perennial, annual, perennials, perennial plants, I think it is. Stuff that comes up year after year. Uh, so it's gonna take quite a lot. And so this frame is going to really get a, a workout today and test to see if these things are gonna hold up. I'll tell you what, this thing rides like a Cadillac when it's got some weight in the back of it.
Alrighty folks, so yesterday we got everything that I wanted to get chipped, chipped, that's done. Even had time enough to put a couple more uh, loads of chips down at the far end there. So we've got a little bit stockpiled down here for when I start getting some of this area over here uh, cleared out and sifted and whatnot. We'll have some to start just spreading right over there immediately and we don't have to carry it down. Now earlier this morning I uh, did a little bit of digging and I dug up all of these guys right through here. And these are horseradish roots, and they've started to sprout just a little bit. We've got maybe a couple inches of, uh, of greenery coming out the top of those. So we're going to get those planted here this afternoon. And I think we'll put them like right around in this area right here. Uh, there's nothing growing there, and it's been shipped for about a year now, so it should be... Uh, some pretty good soil there and it should be halfway decent for digging in because these roots are a good foot, foot and a half long so we're going to have to get a ways down in there in order to get these things planted. Alrighty folks, well, I think that's like, that's three projects done in one video. That is, that's not bad. That is not bad. Now, for some of those roots that we were planting, instead of digging way down in there, I just lopped off six, eight, ten inches off the bottom of it, and that way I didn't have to dig quite so far down in there. Uh, that'll give me a little bit to mess around with. I'll turn some of that into like a, a coarse sauce. Um, I also want to try drying some of this. I've never done that before, but I've heard it's supposed to work just as well and it should keep even longer. So I may do that with some of these uh, pieces of root that I've got from those as well. Now, hopefully here later this spring, uh, I'll be getting over into this area and getting this sifted out. Uh, I think it was last spring, I worked on some of this area, uh, running it through the, uh, the, the rock grizzly and getting all the rock out and getting the bits and pieces of board out of there and just getting it getting it cleaned up getting it into better shape for a garden and i've got it sort of laid out there's some t-posts here and then another one somewhere over there and then there's another couple down at that end and that's roughly where the old barn was um, so i think that's going to be kind of the worst of it so hopefully i'll get that whole area sifted out cleared out and then I might even try mulching it as well this year as well. Hopefully that'll get done this spring, but we all know how those projects go. So uh, we'll, we'll see when it actually gets done. But anyways, that is going to be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.